Hey everybody, this is Patricia. Welcome back to my channel. And it is Friday the 13th. It is my chatty get ready with me. I'm doing putting this up a little late. I'm actually filming it. This is Friday the 13th. I've had a kind of rough week. I've had a migraine all week. And so it's come and gone, come and gone. So I'm down to the wire. So I'm filming this today <clears throat> and getting this up today. So let's go ahead and get started. I've already done all my skincare and I primed my face. So let's get started. I want to show you a new foundation I got. And I'm sure you've been hearing about this. The Fenty Beauty by Rihanna. I got my tube about two weeks ago. It was not a tube. I saved the box until I could actually do a video on it. It's a bottle. I got my bottle about two weeks ago, I think, and I've been using it. And I love it. It is a great foundation. So I'm just going to use it today. My color is 280. This is the, I'm going to throw the box away. This is the first high-end foundation I have purchased online without actually going into a Sephora and having it matched for me. And I have my foundations, you know, in my Sephora on the website, you know, I have mine in my little area, my foundations in there. So they know my color IQ, is that what it's called? Anyway, this is the color it recommended and it works. It's, it's good. So it says to shake well. I'm shaking it. I grab my brush. I still have a bit of a headache, so if I'm a little off, I feel, I just kind of, I feel it. I feel my headache, but I got to get this video up, right? I got lots of videos to film, so I got to get this going. So let's get started. I'm going to put this on. I didn't bring a mirror. I was trying so hard to make sure I remembered everything, and I think I do have a mirror. I can get my, get my, um, palette. Use the mirror. But yeah, I knew I'd forget something. So, um, this one's going to be more chatty. Again, if you're not interested in chatty, then you may you can turn off if you want to. But this one's going to be chatty. Um, I got my license in the mail today, my travel agent license. I am official I have done all of my Disney training. If you wonder what I'm doing, I'm looking in the viewfinder to put my makeup on. So, sorry if I'm looking away from you. Um, but I have done all my Disney training. I have done universal training. I am starting my training on my the VAX system, V-A-X. And with that system, I can book anything. So, I'm almost there. I think I'll be training forever though, but that's okay. I am, can now officially sell um, travel packages. So if anyone's interested, down below is my email for now. I have, I'll put in my new email. I have an email, business email. So I'll put that down below too. So if you want to contact me about a trip, I'll put that info down below. I'm just getting everything going. And unfortunately this week, I worked Monday, but I haven't worked anymore this week. Work mean my travel agent work. I have not done anything. So I've just been fighting this migraine. Let's see how this looks. I think that looks good. Now, the concealer I'm going to use today is the uh, Maybelline Master Conceal. I've had this in my collection a little while. Uh, one of you lovely ladies recommended it to me a long time ago. I think last year. And I purchased it and I liked it and then I kept trying other things. But I do like this. I like this concealer. So I'm going to use it today. Look at that. Works great. This new uh, foundation, it stays on, it looks great, it lasts all day. Uh, I'm not going to do a video on it, testing it. 
mainly because I haven't really sat and figured out that software yet for editing. I just haven't had the time because I want to get my training for my travel agent stuff. I'll figure it out eventually. I'll make time, but lately I haven't really had time, so I hope you can, can accept my apology for that one. Where is my sponge? Here's my sponge, and I'm going to set that concealer under my eyes. I'm so glad I just turned my powder over. I am so glad my husband fixed my ring light. That has been a savior. Hold on a second. Okay, I'm back. I didn't lose powder, thank goodness, in the floor, but it did fall. Here we go. That looks good. I know I have some dark circles under my eyes because I have not slept well, not felt well this week. Like I said, this migraine. But I think it's okay. I think I turned, turned things a little there. That might be a little, little better. That looks okay. That looks okay. What are we going to do now? Contour. I am going to have to get the... You know I love my Kat Von D. I'm going to have to get the replacements. And there's dogs barking. I'm sorry. It's across the street. I don't know what they're barking at. Got this brush. They're building a new house. It's almost complete. It's up there. It's not next door to me. It's uh, across the street, up and across. And uh, oh, there's someone walking up our street. And uh, so if you hear noises the house is built now they've been digging building a driveway my street seems so cluttered now it seemed so nice before we had nice big yards and now that the Holcombs next door went from one house to five houses They're just sticking houses everywhere they can in this area. Ooh, that's too dark. Look at that. Got to blend that out. Let's see. Anything exciting this week? No, I've, I've been kind of laying low. Um, Tuesday. Next Tuesday, I have my appointment with the orthopedic doctor about my knee. So, yay for that. Yay for that. So, that's next, next Tuesday. There we go. I'm not going anywhere today. I'm just hanging out here at home, going to work from my computer. And in case you're wondering, my hair is wet. It's actually, I washed it this morning. So I just put it up on top of my head to film. Okay. Good enough. Good enough. So now, I have to think of my steps. I know when I come over here, and film, I forget <laughs> my steps. I do things kind of odd. No. See, I'm already forgetting my steps. Powder. My Revlon powder has just about had it. I'm getting this last bit out. It's in my big fluffy brush. Get this last bit out. I did go out yesterday. Put on minimal makeup. So I really haven't done like a full face since Monday. There we go. Not bad. 
All right, now eyes. I'm gonna use my BH Cosmetics Eye Primer in Bisque. And I have started using my finger to apply it. I like that much better than a brush. I probably should have shut the window before I filmed, but I didn't think about it. We are in that transition where it's still hot. It's not cold, but it's not hot enough for, you know, having the air conditioner on all the time. And, and today is a cloudy day. So I'm, another reason I'm glad to have my ring light back. Now, let's do eyes. Let's start with my brows. I'm just going to do my um, Gimme Brow. I have it number one. I'm just going to do kind of basic brows today. Nothing too. There we go. I don't like that look right there. It looks like I need to pencil it, but I didn't grab my pencil. We're just going to leave it. We're just going to leave it. Now, I'm going to I've got my Huda Beauty palette in Desert Dusk. I love this palette. I want the rose gold one. I've gone in twice to buy it, and it's sold out. So I'm keeping my eyes open because I, I absolutely want to get it. I'm going to start always, like I always do, with this Desert Sand. And I'm using my uh, Royal Langnickel... Moda Pro Brush BMX 430 Crease Brush. And I'm just putting it everywhere. Now, I thought this was going to be a very chatty video, and I'm trying to think of what to chat about because that's such a boring week. I'm going to go in with I'm going to go in with musk. This one right here. I'm not cleaning out my brush. I'm using the same brush. I'm going to dab into musk, and I'm going. In the crease and above. And just kind of place that. On my eyes. I hear Charlie. Is that you, Charlie? I should use that scotch tape method. I haven't tried it. Put it right along your eyes here. Have any of you guys done that? <coughs> Excuse me. I'd love to. I need to try that. I might do that. I'll do a video using the scotch tape method. We'll just try it out. All right. Now, um, one thing about this palette, it's a very warm palette, as you can see. I like this shade. I wish there was a darker um, 
cooler shade I could put in the crease uh, that's a matte uh, because now everything is this is the closest thing and I will probably end up using that everything all the other mattes are really warm so but let's uh Clean this brush out. This is the this is a Coastal Sense brush. It's a crease brush. The number on it. <laughs> Hold on one second. Someone wanted to join me. This is Charlie. If you remember Charlie, Charlie's growing. She's getting to be a big girl. Yeah. Where are you going? I'll put you back there. She is into everything too. Oh man. Now back to what I was doing. I'll probably have to keep knocking Charlie out of everything. She's very helpful, very helpful. But like I was saying, this crease brush uh, from Coastal Scents, BRC N08. That is what I'm gonna use. And I'm going into OUD. And I'm gonna work this right in the crease. Charlie checks out my makeup. And I'm going to grab, I'm going to use this to blend. I have not cleaned it out. I just use it to blend and soften. And Charlie's been a good girl. Charlie's going to have to go and get fixed. She's going to have to go get spayed. There we go. All right. Now, I am going to... I have found with these... Um, these glittery shades, uh, even the Cosmo, the real glittery shades, your finger works best. And I'm going to go into, I'm going to go into retrograde right here with my finger. And I'm going to place this on my eyelid. And retrograde is a duochrome. It shifts to red. It's like a a green to a red. So it's great for the holidays. If I can close my eye and you can see. But yeah, it shifts. It has a shift to it. So that's pretty cool. I'm loving this palette. It's got to be my favorite. I think the rose gold will be my absolute favorite when I get it. I've been looking at all the new palettes coming out and the Christmas palettes and I don't know. I've just, I haven't seen anything that absolutely screams, oh my, I have to have that except for the, the Huda Rose Gold palette. That's the only one I'm feeling that way about. Everything else, it, they're like, okay. Um, I'm really not interested in like the holiday sets. I wasn't last year. I don't think I bought... I didn't buy any of the holiday sets from last year. Yeah. Just go, girl. I didn't buy any of the holiday sets last year. Uh, I like eye palettes. I think I'm just, no, now that's where my tripod is. You will shake everybody. You'll get, no, you'll shake everybody. 
No, no, no. All right. I'm not doing too much today because I'm... Sorry, guys. I am just not... I'm not feeling it. So, next, I got a couple eyeliners. And these are little Sephora eyeliners that I have gotten as samples. And this is Blonde Ambition. When I hear that name, I think of Madonna. I don't know about you. I think of Madonna. I like this on my bottom waterline. But I'm just going to put it there. There we go. Blonde Ambition. Whoops. And then this one is Flirting Game. And I'm going to try to tight line on the top. Hmm. Sticking in my eye, though. My eye's already watering. Just thinking about it. There we go. Hmm. Not too bad. Now... I put, I have this Alme Multi Benefit One Coat Mascara Waterproof I had on vacation. I'm finding it's just okay. Nothing special, nothing spectacular. And I feel like when I'm doing my eyes, you know, to go out or just to every day even, it's not enough for me. So I grabbed this uh, Dior, Dior Show. From my samples and I am using it. Uh oh, I have a flake. Oh, look! Do you see that flake? I'll have to get rid of that one. Not good. I do like this mascara. I'm not sure how much it costs. I haven't looked it up. Mainly because I know I probably won't won't spend a whole lot on a mascara, you know. Unless it's just absolutely amazing. I do like this mascara, but I also like like Benefit mascaras. Like the Roller Lash is my favorite so far. That and I like Sephora's um, what's the name of their lash craft? I think it length, lengthens and thickens. I love that mascara too. So, unless I find a high end mascara that absolutely wows me, I probably would not purchase it. I do really like this. Dior mascara though. And that's the first time I've ever had a flake or something like that happen. But we will see what we can do. Where's my... Yeah, I got help behind me. But she's not into anything. So that's good. See if my sponge can... It's still there a little bit. There, there we go. And now I'm just going to put some, I'm using this Studio Makeup uh, Loose Pigment. It's called Luminous Loose Blush. I'm going to get some of this and put it on my cheeks. I'm not going too crazy today. Too bad. And then I'm using this Pixie by Petra. It's a blush. It's called Peach Honey, but to me it's a highlight. And I'm just running my highlighter brush.
this is not really much of a highlighter to be truthful. This is not one of my favorite products. Um, it's too luminous and light to be a blush and it's not luminous enough to be a really good highlighter. So, yeah, I'm just using it. It'll probably end up being decluttered at some point out of my collection. Now, lips, I'm gonna go into what I got in my Lip Monthly. And I forgot about this, Kiss and Smink. I don't know how I can use this. I don't want to put it on my eyes. Yeah, I think it's a bit gold for today. I think I'm about to mess up something if I stick it on the end of my nose. Carefully. Put it on my cupid's bow. Not too bad. I have an idea. Let's put the eyeliner on, uh, the lip liner, the lip liner on, and it's um, Pure Rose, and it's Sorme, S-O-R-M-E, Smear Proof Lip Liner. I'm going to put this on. Sorry about the dogs barking. There we go. This is a really nice lip liner. I have not heard of that brand until I got this lip monthly and it's really nice. Now I'm gonna take this Kiss and Smink in Sardinia. I'm going to get it on my finger. And I'm going to put this on my lips. Hmm. Wow. What you guys think? That's nice. That makes nice color. Wow. Man, that's pretty. I made up something new here. Put you away. I'm gonna get this lip liner back out, and I'm going to darken the edges, the corners, and then. like this. Wow. I like it better than I thought it would. Now I'm going to grab the lip gloss that I got and it's Bang Beauty and it's pink champagne. I don't know what this will do to it, but we're going to put it on too. I need more gloss. Just a little. Gosh, this smells so good. This is my favorite smelling lip product. Bang. There we go. What do you think? I like. I like the I like the lips. I'm loving the foundation. I truly am. I love the color. Um I love the way it um it's a medium to full coverage, I believe. Uh I just, I love how it wears. I, I love this foundation. I, I was a little skeptical because, you know, Rihanna. I was a little skeptical, but no, it, it's great. Now, I haven't tried any of her other products, so I don't know. Um, but I do like the foundation, so. 
and I'm a foundation junkie. I think you know that. I love my foundation. So, yeah. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe if you haven't already. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and I will talk to you guys later. Love you lots. Thanks. Bye.